Today we want to show you the cooling plate we've got for the MEB modules. Yeah, hi there. My name is Alex from ECV Technologies in Germany. We normally do our videos in German, but we also want to show some uh, products that we've developed um, also to our English customers. So uh, we will have some very short videos in English um, to show some of our products. Today we want to show you the um, cooling plates we have for different modules. Um, so let's get into that. So from the start we've got for the MEB modules. So you mostly all know those. They are from the ID, uh, VW ID3, ID4, ID5, uh, the ID bus, and also in the Skoda Enyaq and some Seat uh, vehicles. So this is how they look. They, they come in two different types. Um, they've got like 24 cells uh, inside. They come in 12S2P and in uh, 8S3P. So we've developed some cooling plates for these. Um, these are quite big, so um, mainly you would use them just um, as they sit here, so you would not turn them at 90 degrees or something like that. So you need for every um, module, you need one cooling plate. So we developed a very light and quite cheap cooling plate. So this is exactly the size of an MEB module. You can um, mount them in all four uh, holes. Um, here you can see the um, cooling channels. We've developed this with a university in Germany, so we've optimized them in flow and also in temperature. Um, you've got an inlet and outlet at the front or at the back, it depends on how you want to mount them. Um, then of course you need for a good um, thermal connection, you need a thermal pad. You know these probably from other um, companies that do EV conversions and also sell parts. So they come in the exact size. Um, you can then mount them on the, um, the, ID, the ID modules or the MEB modules onto the um, cooling plates. So uh, just give me a very short time to show you how we test those. Um, here you can see like four cooling plates. We've put some um, tape on them because we took a, a very resolution thermal camera so we could, um, so we have got no reflection we put on this tape. So we've got like four um, cooling plates here, two in series and two in parallel. So this is our very small test setup. So we take the temperature of the inlet and the outlet. Um, we've got a Tesla heater to um, put some heat into the system. I will put in a short video where you can see with the thermal camera, where you can see how the heat is distributed across four um, cooling plates, which are in series. So see you later. Okay, now you've seen how the temperature really goes very quick from one side to the other and how um, the heat is distributed very evenly um, across all the cooling plates. So this is a cooling plate you can get from us. You can write us a mail for if you're interested in this, um, in this cooling plates or it depends on when you're watching this video. Uh, we might have our online shop uh, online so then you can have a, have a look there and get them. Um, yeah, there, then you can see also all the technical data because they're very light. I uh, just want to show you some other cooling plates. You probably know them from other conversion shops. They look quite similar and uh, I mean, they are quite similar in design. Uh, we've optimized them in flow inside. And also like all the, um, the dimensions are a bit different and all the, also the mounting holes. This has the advantage that we can also like mount the um, e-tron SUV modules or the uh, modules from the Taycan or the e-tron GT from the Audi. So with the, these order from the e-app, so we can use uh, more modules on the same cooling plate. So this makes it a bit different from, from other cooling plates, which look quite similar, but uh, you probably have seen those. So um, yeah, this was a very short take on our cooling plates. So hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, just hit the comments and yeah, or write us a mail and then let's see you in the next video, bye.